for a complete list of CNBC Asia's partner hotels, log on to our website. Welcome back to Squawk Box. Now, you might recall a Canadian financial information website provider, Stockhouse Media. The Vancouver-based company was in the news early last month when it launched its Australian website. Now, the company has received a multi-million dollar windfall. Canadian media mogul Conrad Black, Hollinger International, took a 9% stake in the internet startup, along with three other firms. Stockhouse.com is now eyeing other website startups worldwide, including Hong Kong. The president and CEO of the company is in Hong Kong, and he joins us from our studios there. Jeff, let me ask you, why pick on Hollinger as an investor? Uh, well, uh, Hollinger had some uh, definite advantages for us in uh, North America and England, as they basically own every newspaper in Canada, and uh, they, of course, own only London Telegraph. Uh, being an old world media company, uh, we, we're trying to make uh, strategic relationships with older world media companies, uh, as we are a new world media company. Um, and Hollinger just made perfect sense in North America and the UK. So uh, really, uh, it's, it was an excellent relationship for us, and uh, there's a lot of benefit for both parties. Jeff, uh, Hollinger, Liberty, and the other partners in this deal are taking a combined 9% stake. That is not a huge stake, substantial, but certainly not controlling. What does that mean? They're going to sit by and uh, watch you run the company, or they're going to take an active part? Well, uh, th they won't be too actively involved. It's uh, basically a strategic relationship. There'll be a lot of uh, benefits uh, on both sides. We'll be sharing a lot of content. Uh, there'll be a uh, number of uh, enhancements for both sides. Uh, but they will not be uh, taking a controlling interest uh, by any means. Uh, couple, uh, we have David Radler, the president of Hollinger, on our advisory board. Uh, but at this point, uh, it's mostly as an advisory function. Uh, we will still be running the company and day-to-day -day operations, all that sort of a thing. It's, it's mostly just a strategic relationship. Jeff, I haven't really seen the numbers, but are you profitable? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you there. Are you profitable? Uh, uh, we, we were profitable until this year when we decided to expand uh, uh, globally. Uh, now our goal really isn't to be profitable at this point for the next few years. Our mandate really is to grow uh, worldwide and, uh, and uh, continue to grow our traffic and our revenues. Jeff, you seem to be, be very much in the, on the prowl here in the Asia region. I mean, obviously, you started off in your Canadian bunkers with coverage of the TSE and, and, and Canadian financial markets, the U.S., so uh, you pretty much have North America covered. You launched your Australian website about six, seven weeks ago, and you're eyeing Hong Kong uh, very soon, if I'm not wrong. Do you see uh, your, your traditional North American market is saturated with too much competition? Is that why you're out here? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, North America is, is definitely uh, saturated compared to most parts of the world, but that's, uh, we're certainly not running from it at all. Uh, we're really just trying to get a head start on uh, all the excitement that's happening in the rest of the world right now. Uh, Hong Kong, for example, is, uh, I've been here for about 48 hours and it's absolutely phenomenal. Of course, I've been here in the past, uh, but uh, what I'm seeing on this return trip to Hong Kong is absolutely unbelievable. It's a frenzy over here as far as internet companies are concerned. Um, the growth over here is going to be absolutely amazing, and uh, we're very excited to be over here, uh, be the first uh, international, multinational online media company to come into uh, this region. Jeff, uh, you say you're focused mainly on growth over the next few years, so when do you expect to return to the black? Uh, that really is not uh, in our near-term objective in any means. Uh, just as you know, when television started in you know 1920s or 30s or whatever it was, uh, NBC I'm sure wasn't trying to make a profit in their first few years. They're probably their goal was to expand, uh, get out there, and you know after five or ten years, once they have the complete uh, market covered, uh, that's when they attempt to start making the profits. I think uh, people are are, are uh, judging internet companies a little too soon on on, on uh, profitability. Um, you know, it's important for some companies, especially when we are a private company, but we're, we're on the road to being public. Uh, for private companies, of course, it's, a, it's uh, important to be uh, profitable, especially if they don't have external financing. But for us, it's, it's really uh, not a, ma a major factor in our, in our thinking at this point. Uh, we have to think globally. We have to grow aggressively. Jeff, ever since uh, we interviewed Tom, the head of your uh, Australian operations, when you launched your Australian website back in the beginning of August, I've logged on a few times to see exactly what Stockhouse.com has to offer. I mean, it's very interesting. You seem to be an amalgamation 
of uh, a, a, a compilation, if you will, of, of financial information from various sources. You have some proprietary information as well. I see little banner ads at the top, very small ads. You offer your service for free. I don't see any online trading yet. How are you going to compete going out? I mean, you're not the only one in this industry. I mean, the Americans are coming in and launching online services with the Japanese. I mean, it's a very, very cutthroat industry. What can you offer that's well, different? At we're completely different than most media companies out there. There's a number of American companies, for example, who are uh, our so-called competitors. Uh, there's uh, companies like TheStreet.com, CBS Market Watch, uh, but they're really taking old, old world uh, media business models and just putting them on the net. So all they're really taking advantage of on the net is the distribution channel. Uh, Stockhouse is completely different in that we gather and aggregate content uh, from every source possible and try to offer as much as possible for free. Whatever we can offer for free, of course, we'll offer for free. But, uh, you know, the street.com is a good example. They're basically a large in, uh, company in the States. Uh, and basically, they've taken the, the model of charging $10 a month for their content, same as an old newspaper would, um, and basically just providing their own proprietary content, which is great, and it's a good business, but that's not the business we're in. We're really taking advantage of all the Internet technologies and making it so investors have one place where they can go to to get all that other information. All right, Jeff. All right, thanks very much for that. Jeff Berwick of Stockhouse Media Corporation. All right, just ahead on Squawk Box, Australia says business could save up to $5 billion through tax reform. We're going to talk to the Financial Services Minister, Joe Hawking, when we come back.